in this video we're going to be talking about the top 10 must have cards in nba 2k23 my team in my opinion these are cards i think everybody should either strive to go out and get or just have them on their squad now you're not going to have every single player on your team but these are just the guys i would definitely recommend some are going to be super expensive some are going to be kind of in the mid tier and then some are going to be either free or budget cards the first card i want to talk about is going to be diamond andre kirilenko or ak-47 he's going to be a power forward small forward six foot nine tall with a seven foot wingspan he's around 50 to 60 thousand mt but for the defense he provides you with a 90 block 90 steel 90 lateral quickness and an 86 perimeter and an 80 interior defense he's going to be one of the better defenders in the game so i would definitely recommend trying to get him as your lockdown defender now guys this isn't going to be a normal top 10 like there's no certain order in what i'm going on how i'm going over these cards these are just going to be the top 10 must have cards in the game so coming in at the next spot the number nine spot but not ranked like i said is going to be diamond banchero he's a power forward center six foot ten tall with a seven foot, seven foot wingspan this banchero card only around twenty thousand mt and he's going to be a great budget power forward or center to run he has 80 speed 79 three ball 90 driving dunk 85 standing dunk he plays a lot better defense than these stats do show and the badges like he plays really good defense he's got a really good jump shot he's really good in the pick and pop and he's good at going to the basket so ben Chero for only like 20,000 mt i think is definitely going to be a must-have card now talking about the trophy cases so pink diamond derrick rose is the best in my opinion but there's also guys like james worthy and basically what i'm saying is you guys should at least have one pink diamond by now or you should be at least striving to get your first pink diamond trophy case whether that's rose whether that's james worthy whether that's big z whether that's sabonis whoever you guys want to go after russell westbrook whoever you guys are going for i'm just saying those are a must have card in the game right now because they are some of the best cards in the game so try to get at least your first trophy case pink diamond or maybe go for your second they are definitely must have cards in my opinion and like i said i think the three best are probably Derek rose james worthy and then arvidas sabonis looking at derrick rose here though he's going to be a point guard shooting guard six foot three tall with a six foot eight wingspan really good at going to the basket 98 speed 98 speed with ball and a 95 ball handle while having that 95 driving dunk he literally dunks on everybody so derrick rose in my opinion is the best point guard in the game and he is going to be 1000 free next card i want to talk about is going to be one of the best budget cards maybe even the best budget card in the game right now and that's going to be amateur this robert hori he's a power forward small forward six foot ten tall with a seven foot one wingspan this card can pretty much do it all has a 93 ball 88 mid-range yes he's not the fastest with the ball or just fastest in general but he's going to be a decent speed and i think you guys should probably run him at that power forward spot he's going to be a great pick and pop power forward he's going to play decent defense he's tall enough has a good wingspan has a good player model and he's got a really good jump shot as well so robert horry an absolute beast for only like 9,000 mt next card i want to talk about now we're going to talk about the free cards and this is going to be the token market card so we're going to talk about amethyst Giannis as the first one he is definitely the first guy i would take out of the token market and you definitely need him like i can still run him at my back a power forward it's between him and paulo banchero and sometimes i run Giannis over a guy like banchero he's six foot eleven tall with a seven foot four wingspan he's got a great player model he's going to give you really good defense really good at going to the basket he's a fast enough card even has an 82 ball handle only a fifth uh, only a 66 three ball and a 75 mid-range so you guys might be saying well he can't shoot threes but if you're wide open with this card especially from the mid-range he is going to be able to knock down very consistently and sometimes from the three if you do know his release really well now the second card i'd recommend taking out of the token market and probably a must-have card for most budget or kind of starter teams is going to be amethyst lebron james he is a small forward six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan just like Giannis, one of the best player models in the game he plays way better defense than his stats and badges do show he's got really good speed really good at going to the basket and he's got a really good jump shot in my opinion lebron usually gets really bad jump shots at the start of the year but this year, 2K decided to give him one of the best jumpers in the game. So Giannis and LeBron, I think, are the two guys I would recommend as the token cards definitely to go after if you guys kind of have like a starter team. I mean, Amethyst LeBron is still my backup small forward, and I got a very good team. I got Rose, Jalen Brown, Scottie Pippen, Larry Johnson, Blake Griffin. Like, that's my starting lineup. And then on my bench, I got D Mitch, Iggy, LeBron, Ben Chero, and Jermaine O'Neal. I'm looking at my team right now. But yeah, so like LeBron is still my backup small forward. AK is probably a better card, and some other guys we're going to talk about like a guy like Nicholas Batum are probably a little bit better than LeBron 
but he's free and he's my favorite player so i'ma run him and lebron is very good but talking about nicholas batum he's gonna be a power forward small forward six foot eight tall with a seven foot wingspan another one of the best budget cards in the game just like a guy like robert horry now nicholas batum he is a do-it-all card. He can do everything in the game. He plays great defense, 87 interior, 87 perimeter, with an 85 steal and an 84 block. Decently fast card, has a good three ball, has good ball handle and good speed with ball. Yes, his jump shot really isn't the best if you guys tried this card out, but if you're wide open, I think you'll be able to knock down very consistently. And then he also does have the Michael Jordan dribble style. So Batum, for only like I think 10 to 15,000 MT, is going to be one of the best budget cards in the game. Now talking about an expensive card is going to be Pink Diamond Blake Griffin, but if there's any expensive card you guys are going to go out and pick up, it is 1000%. You guys must get Blake Griffin. Him or Zion Williamson, but Zion's like 400k, or Blake's only like 225 to 250. So sometimes even 200k he is honestly i still think the best center in the game it's probably between him and chris bosh but he can also play really good at the power forward spot he's six foot ten tall with a six foot eleven wingspan this dude going to the basket is one of the best in the entire game 98 driving dunk 98 standing dunk really good at finishing around the rim he's a great defender good rebounder he's got an 83 three ball 88 mid-range and a really good jump shot i feel like i can knock down pretty consistently with another must-have card is 1000 gonna be amethyst danny green if you guys are looking for a budget shooting guard i would 1000 rec recommend picking up Am amethyst danny green yes if you have guys like jalen brown or you have guys like iguodala you can definitely run them because they're both technically free if you guys did the jalen brown glitch but yeah iguodala Dalla, amazing card so is jalen brown but danny green for a budget card that you can actually buy on the auction house he's six foot six tall with a six foot ten wingspan he's going to cost you around 20 to 25 thousand mt but look at the defense he gives you 91 perimeter 93 lateral 90 steel he's an amazing all-around defender has a 93 ball 84 mid-range and has one of the best release in the game while also having that michael jordan dribble style so danny green for only 25 thousand mt is probably going to be the perfect three and d card in the game now talking about three and 3 and D card in the game we're gonna talk about pink diamond Scotty Pippen I know he's a level 40 I know he's hard to get but this is one card you guys definitely got to get on your lineup like if there's any cards on this list that I would recommend going after or trying to save up MT for or try to grind for it's 1000% gonna be Scotty Pippen I think he's the best card in the game and he's gonna be very very valuable for a long time because of his defense and he's got one of the best jumpers in the game if you guys have not used this card trust me he is an absolute dog one of the best maybe even the best defender in the game really good at going to the basket he can create his own shot he's fast he can knock down threes i mean there's nothing this scotty pippen card can't do while also being a really good defender like being one of the best defenders in the game with a really good height and a really good wingspan and obviously has a really good player model so yeah guys those are going to be my top 10 must-have cards in the game right now let me know some cards maybe i missed out on that you guys think are must-have cards but anybody on this list i would definitely recommend you know not every single card because this you can't make a full starting lineup i don't think i mean actually i think you could you could probably make a full lineup just out of the cards i've recommended but like i said you don't have to pick up every single card these are just some of the cards i would definitely recommend trying to pick up for your squad whether that's either grinding for them or saving up uh, saving mt up for them i would definitely recommend it so hopefully you guys enjoy if you guys enjoy make sure to drop a like down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one